Hey, it's me, Storm, and welcome back to some more Feed the Beast, guys. Um, I've been busy, dudes. I've been I've been doing some stuff and some things and stuff and things, as as I always say. I've expanded my island a little bit here, uh, so that we can do more stuff. And I've also moved this water wheel deal set up more like this. That way, it's kind of not cutting across the base where i'm uh where i'm doing stuff i i don't like the way all of this looks <laughs> if i'm being brutally honest but it is it is temporary it's it's only temporary um eventually i will do something to make it all look pretty um but right now uh yeah it's it's all just just temporary stuffs and things anyway um we got a lot to do today uh, there's 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 some things that I really really would like to get sorted first of all um, I need to start generating Obsidian I was trying to think what it was called then but I do need to start generating obsidian and I also um, Need other materials and I'm trying to think what it's called now <laughs> I have a plan. Honest. I have a plan. But anyway, we're gonna mess with the pedestals today um, So first of all Let's do this. Let's, let's claim all these rewards. What is that? A gilded barrel. What does a gilded barrel do? Well, it doesn't do much, does it really? Let's be honest. Uh, we have soulbound, a compacting drawer, uh, annotated codex, uh, muffling upgrades, a mushroom barrel from chip. Let's put that there. There we go. Cool. Now we've got various different storages. Um, and and a wooden hopper and a fluid hopper and an ink sack and some item transporters nothing of major value except for pointed dripstone that is that is something that we really really need today and uh i'm gonna make use of that immediately what we're going to do is we're going to use the pointed dripstone to start reproducing lava we need we need a decent supply uh so let's take you and we're going to throw these into the uh, the smelterizer over here um, and start making some glass. And then what we're going to need to do is grab some iron. Um, and we're going to need, we're going to need cauldrons, I think they're called. There they are. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's all we need, just four, because that is, that is all we can afford um, because of our dripstone situation. But we should be able to use the dripstone to make more lava at least i think at least i believe that is possible so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna wait for this to uh to cook up and then we'll be right back okay so i think if i do uh this i'm gonna run out already but that's fine i'm one short that's that's not a problem um if i do this then uh let's grab these there we go then put some lava in there it should drop down into those but i don't know whether it's too high up if it is too high up that's not a problem i can uh i can definitely fix it oh man i can't believe i'm gonna use glass for that but there we go so there we go that that is that and then what i want to do is now i need to find my buckets i think there yeah there they are i've only got how much have we got we got two buckets of lava that that should be that should be plenty Oh man, let me grab, let me grab some cobblestone. I don't want to keep wasting glass. Um, there, there we go. We grab a stack, and I, I do, I do, I, I, I do not know <laughs> if this is right. Uh, but let's get rid of you. Oh, you get the glass back. Excellent. I, I love it when that happens. Right, there we go. And then if we put one here, and then one here, hopefully, hopefully, if I've done this right. And I place the pointed dripstone uh, there, 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 and there. It should drip into here and start filling up. Now, I'm not sure if I need to be one higher with these. And if I do, I, I, I will make them one higher. That's not a problem. But it should fill these up. There's no way of seeing if this works. Um, I'll tell you what. What I'll do is I'll tidy up. I'll clear all this away. And then, um, then we'll check on it and see see whether that's high enough. But it, I, it may need to go up one higher. Um, if it does, it does. It's not the end of the world, but we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. So after doing some testing, <laughs> I think we can see which way it works. 
that's okay if I, if I need to move these up I can move these up that's not a problem um it's not ideal but it's not a problem I would have liked to have had that uh placed a little lower but that's fine uh we can do this and then hopefully uh we should be able to bucket out a bucket of lava just like that I've only been here like probably three minutes so not even that long but I am going to put this lava into here because it seems or at least to me it seems that it, it drops out quicker when it's got a source block above it so we'll see we'll see what happens and um yeah it does it does it does look that way doesn't it and uh yeah i'll just wait until these fill up and then i can fill this up and then we've got lava so this is obviously not the most efficient way to to get lava um there's gonna be more easier ways in the mod pack uh as as we progress uh but for early game and and i wouldn't say i'm still early game even though i've got a lot built here i would say i'm early game i still feel like that's gonna be good enough so let me put this last one uh in this section and hopefully uh they should all fill up relatively quickly now from what i understand from what i understand cauldrons can't be piped from i don't believe but i did get that fluid hopper uh now i need to find out where i put it uh let's do let's do this is it'd be easier to search right so we got wooden hopper there no not in there no not in there not in there not in there did i put it in one of these drawers maybe uh, <laughs> oh i love searching for stuff it's uh, yeah there it is the fluid hopper uh collect and move fluid so if i can can you put these sideways uh i guess you can't right let's 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 try and move this right and then we'll place the hopper into where's our tank let's go and grab our tank how much we got in there does it does it tell me it doesn't it doesn't actually tell me uh there we go we, oh, we got we got one whole bucket i could have used that um let's place the tank here and then if the fluid hopper works we could make more let's find out did that work it worked it worked that's fantastic that is fantastic so so will that constantly fill up now or no i wonder hmm i'm gonna wait and see and see what happens here because i want to make sure that this works perfect well i have no clue um or no way of telling i've been sitting here for about five minutes and while there's an extra bucket in there that's because i manually moved it from that one to that one i don't want to put a hopper on there if it's not going to collect lava and then place it into there also <laughs> if you ever do this and you press your uh, your number one key it turns off uh which i think is called jade um yeah i didn't realize that i didn't have mine there uh i pressed the number one key yesterday when i was trying to set key binds for the uh the jetpack in here um <laughs> whoops there we go so i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave that if these tend to fill up and then this one doesn't and this doesn't increase then that means that that hopper will not work with that system because it might need to let that fill full before it can then pull it out i don't know i'm not sure maybe a redstone signal on the hopper or something like that will fix it but anyway um let's get into what we want to do so uh we need to make myself uh, a couple of pedestals ped there pedestals there they are uh i need i need two of these if i can i don't think i have enough okay so let's grab what cobble i've got we'll throw it into here uh there we go oh we got our glass excellent uh we'll throw the glass in there um so we're gonna need uh a bunch of pedestals let me just go check all right yeah, yeah yeah okay well i'm gonna keep coming back to that through this episode um so what happened yesterday is i was hanging around here because obviously i made these i should have let them have one more block space so that they would have they would have allowed that uh to grow this side as well it was so silly but i can't move them now unless i put a cardboard box on them i, I don't know whether that would work or not uh we'll have to test that out but um yeah so i was over here and then these endermites came out and uh attacked me and when they died they dropped some endstone now i don't know if i have enough pieces i need four uh i have three. Oh crap have i got another piece somewhere 
I'm really hoping uh, that I've got the one extra piece. I do not believe uh, I have. No, sandstone. No, no, and no. So I don't know if I just hang around these, will, will an endermite spawn? Um, I guess while I'm waiting for the lava to see what that does, let me just go and check it one more time. Uh, well, yeah, while I'm waiting for the lava to see how that goes. Yeah, see, this one's refilled again. But this one hasn't, this one hasn't, and that one doesn't seem to. So we'll wait and see. Um, I'll AFK here for a bit, and if an endermite spawns in, I will uh, I will put the video on. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay, so... <laughs> Here I am just standing here waiting for an endermite to spawn. I don't need it. I don't need it. I can do it with what I've got here. Uh, where's my where's my end, end stone? There you are. Well, thank you. Uh, all we need, all we need is uh, some iron and a stick. And then we should be able to chisel it. And, um, and that should do the job, hopefully. Uh, if we do this, there we go. We can make the chisel. And then if we right-click this and throw that in there, we should be able to get endstone brick. There it is, dudes. There it is. That is exactly what we needed right now. Uh, so, so let's get rid of you. Uh, let's get rid of you. There we go. Cool. And then we're going to place the endstone brick here. We're going to put our pedestal on top like so. And then we're going to need to make one of those uh, those upgradey doodars, uh, which is a piece of gold and that tool that goes with it, uh, which is this guy, and then a piece of gold. Hold on, uh, it's over here. Uh, there we go, we got a piece of gold. And how's this doing? Still 3,000. All right, so this one's filled up, but that's about it. I, I think it's just really slow. I think that's the problem, it's just it's very, very slow. Where did my gold, I didn't pick up the gold. I did not pick up the gold, I'm too excited. I'm too excited to start making endstone, because once I make endstone, I can start crushing it down. Once I start crushing it down, I can then start working on getting enderpearls, which is uh, which is really what I'm what I'm interested in. Uh, so let's grab my buckets. Have I gotten both? Yes, I have. All right. So let's grab one bucket of lava. That says three in there. So we'll grab you. There we go. Nothing changed. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm going to be constantly checking this thing now. Um, also, let's check in here. Let's see what we get. Ah, we're getting ink, and we have leather and leather that's great news that is great news that's something i could do that in a moment uh that's something i can do but let's grab this water and we'll head on over here and if we add i think it's lava there water there this guy here that gives me the material generator and then if we take that and put that in our offhand click that on there it should make endstone yes it does Oh, this is amazing. This is uh, this is fantastic. Right, I just need a couple of drawers. Hmm. Drawers. Yeah, no, nah, not going to be in there, are they? Um, nope, not in there. Okay, let's have a look in here. There we go. A couple of drawers. And then we're going to need the, uh, the, 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 the pipe. The, the pipe. Uh, in, the, in here, right? In here? No, uh, we got the pipe wrench. Do we have... Aha, there you are. Excellent. So if we place that there, and then if we disconnect this right here, there we go, and then slap a draw right there, there we go, and then what we can do is that, and that should start filling with endstone. There we go, cool, that's fantastic. How you doing? You're 2,000. All right, so you two have filled now. Oh, I'm getting nervous that this is not going to work. It's, I, I feel like it's pulling it out before it should. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let me, let me, let me, before we do anything else, let me try this, right? Hoppers are usually controlled by redstone. Even a fluid hopper should be controlled by redstone, I would think. So let's add a lever this way. There we go. Cool. And let's disable that hopper with a lever. And let's see if that makes a difference. Uh, so let's do that. Hopefully that is now disabled and we shall see although it's not going to be a very good time ah, it's fine it's fine it's fine we'll test it out in a second um okay so now we're making end stone what we need to do is we need to make another iron auto hammer but i'm pretty sure i've got some spares here yes i have and i would really really like to uh do mm, no let's just do this there we go that's going to take that 
and then if we put another draw down here that should automatically put the crushed end stone in there it does now uh we can speed these up with a speed upgrade and i'm pretty sure i have one somewhere um it could be in my backpack let me just no there it is a speed augment tier four i'm pretty sure i can put that tier four augment right in there um let's just get an empty hand and go like that there we go now that should fill up at a decent pace i hope how are you doing aha right so that did fill up Hmm, so we may need to put a timer on there. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I guess what I'll do is I'll, I'll just make a bunch of fluid hoppers and, and we'll go from there. So give me a second. Let me find out the recipe and we'll be back. Okay, that is that is a real cheap recipe. We just need some wooden hoppers, which we have here. And then the fluid is just some bricks, which is going to require some clay uh, to be smelted up for us, which we should have. Uh, this over here so let's throw the clay into there excellent uh while we're waiting on that let's make our other pedestal uh which requires stone and stone slabs which i'm assuming i don't have enough so let's do that pedestal uh there you are cool excellent wonderful we've got all of that so to make what i want is obsidian so obsidian um on the pedestal we need crying obsidian can be bartered from piglins so <laughs> so bartered huh okay what's what's the deal with that block conversion is a draconic b yeah we're not going to do that are we so crying Crying obsidian can be bartered. Bartering is where you... How much have we got? Three? Cool. Uh, bartering is where you give the piglins gold, right? And then and then they might give you something in return. Okay, looks like we might have a trip to the nether in our future because I really would like to get this done today uh, so that I've got a decent supply. But what I want to do with this now, thank you, is throw this into here and uh watch it all get sh sh smushed up into that and that is what i've been ah oh, that is what i've been needing right now ender pearls is fantastic because that will now allow me if i take the leather out of here that will now allow me to make upgrades for my backpack so if we look at the uh the upgrades upgrades um is it sophisticated it is at so sophisticated backpacks it is this guy that i've been so desperately wanting the glistering melon is going to be the uh the problem though isn't it how do we get melon ruin portal yeah or a villager trade level five villager will give me a glistering melon i can do that i can definitely i can definitely trade uh some maybe some carrots and potatoes with the villager uh, in the hopes uh, I haven't eaten you let me eat you golden marshmallow there you go no extra hearts unfortunately um but oh well um yeah maybe I can do that I may need to set up a farm though I'm not sure uh let's go and see I've already got one farmer villager if he hasn't jumped off oh there's my pet rock I wonder what happened to you I do actually, uh, I, I do actually care about that pet rock that I lost. Uh, hello cow, how are you? We need the farmer villager though. Um, all right, let me let me look for this guy. Okay, I found I found one farmer. Here he is. Um, I doubt I'm gonna get him to level five, but we'll try. Uh, let's sell you those as well. There you go. Um, that might upgrade you a little bit, but I've decided that all villagers now have to sleep at my house because. I think they're all making their way through the portal and that's not a good thing that's that's not a good thing for me because i actually need a couple of villagers to be able to uh set up some form of trading so i have uh i have confiscated the beds <laughs> i know it's horrible i know it's mean but that's what i'm doing i'm confiscating the beds they can stay up here 
Um, and then I'm going to block them off from going back down because it's dangerous down there. It didn't, like, just trust me, it's dangerous, okay? It's very, very dangerous. Right. Okay, so I'm probably not going to get to do what I want to do in terms of trading with a villager, but we still have the opportunity to go into the nether and, and get stuff done there. I wanted the auto-feeding upgrade because I feel like it'll be just so much easier for me. Um, also, I do actually need to eat, so let's eat some carrots. Even though I'm supposed to be selling them, I'm going to eat them because I'm slow and I don't like it. But I want the feeding upgrade so that I can do what I did in all the mods 8 and just grab all of these and shove them in my backpack and it will automatically feed me constantly. I've run out of coal. I've run out of coal. Uh, what do we get from that? Is it just ender pearls from there? That is, that is, that is actually very, very nice. That is, that is beautiful. Let's, uh, let's try and grab some coal out of here because I don't even think I've got any spare in here. And uh, that's not going to be a great thing, right? Let's go and find that villager again. Let's see if he's making his way. No, he is not. It's, I guess he's, he's not ready for bed yet. Uh, what are you, what are you selling, man? Uh, rice for an emerald? No, I'll sell you potatoes. And I'll, I guess I'll wait until your trade upgrades, right? That's probably the smart move there. I haven't been doing that. Uh, please give me all of that. Thank you. Um, yeah, we definitely want to want to try and trade him as much as possible. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, there's another farmer villager. What are you doing there, man? Yeah, you were the one I was working on, aren't you? Oh, well, you're, you're useless to me now. You're totally useless to me now, but I will let you out. Uh, because it's prob probably not very nice being stuck under there, is it? Uh, thank you. I will take that leather. <laughs> I will definitely take that leather and something new to eat as well. We'll take that. Excellent. Right. So let's see if he's got a new trade. Are you the guy? You're not the guy. Are you the guy? You're the guy. So he's now journeyman. So let's do this. We'll trade him again. And we don't have potatoes, but we could buy some pumpkin pie. Let's do that. That's going to get me some extra food. And that's going to get him up to another level um okay what do you got level five are you level no you're you're not level five okay i'll buy some suspicious stew off of you there you go how about that is that gonna uh, is that gonna make a difference now not yet is it it's not it's not it's not gonna do it right i'm gonna eat some suspicious some suspicious stew oh let's put let's put a bit no 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 we gotta we gotta place for all of our foods, haven't we, that we haven't eaten. Let's put let's put these up in here. There we go. I'm going to eat a pumpkin pie. Let's give that... I can't... Do you have to place that on the floor now? Oh, I just can't eat. What am I talking about? Uh, so, how are we doing? We got 4,000 in there. Did we have 4,000 before, dudes? Does anybody remember if we had 4,000 in there? I can't. I cannot remember. We'll just come back and check it in a second. Okay, so um, give me a second. Let me empty my inventory and we'll get ready to do all this stuff. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Okay, awesome. Uh, I've got my trade with the uh, the villager here. I'm going to grab a bunch of those, grab a bunch of those. I just bought all these suspicious stews. Uh, but there we go. We've got a glistering melon and the other thing that we need. So we can actually now uh, do the do the trade that I want to uh, do the trade. Do, do the thing that I wanted to do, which was uh make the upgrade the feeding upgrade for my backpack uh which is the first one we're gonna need a golden apple do we <laughs> we have an apple that's okay that's good oh man i was getting a bit worried there eh? i was getting a little bit on the word side but no we're good we're good we can make the thing by the way i moved all the lava into there there's seven thousand now okay we must remember seven thousand okay so if we do this there that gets me the golden apple uh what does it cost for the second one? Oh, yeah we'll make that so we should be able to make this we need string we need we need a bit of string uh we got we got one piece there i need to put my suspicious stew in in there there we go cool and and if i'm hungry i'll have a little i'll have a little taste uh it's completed the challenge when the stew is sus what have i got haste and night vision uh, well night vision's normal isn't it i normally have night vision uh what what do i need i need string 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 there we go any other way to get string wait i got flax that's it i've got fl flax flax 
somewhere in all of this stuff there's there's flags somewhere i'm not looking for it honest um <laughs> flax or string flax or string flax there we go that is exactly what we was looking for well, there we go we've got the full string we needed we just need a bit of iron now to make that that next upgrade and uh that that should that should be it right so we just do this that there we go one piece of leather and then we can do this excellent feeding upgrade fantastic and then to make that into the better variety oh we made some coal by the way uh we grab some diamond and what else do we need diamond and redstone and gold there's redstone diamond and gold excellent so if we do that and do that there we go now i no longer have to feed myself i don't want to keep those in the backpack unless i want to fly i don't think that's a good idea <laughs> so we're gonna to have to put those in there and keep them on my person next time um what other upgrades can i add to this a magnet upgrade would be great uh that would require a pickup upgrade and some more string uh string is not in abundance at the moment but we can definitely seven thousand we can definitely um we can definitely do with uh making some but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna empty my inventory i'm gonna get my backpack and then we're gonna go to the nether and uh see whether we can barter and get ourselves some crying obsidian okay so here we go we're in the nether um like i said in the last video we went we went all the way up here to to this place um so i'm assuming there should be one sort of around this area if we're lucky um so i'm just gonna i'm gonna fly around in the hopes that it appears to me and <laughs> yeah fingers crossed we'll we'll find it because because it looks like the ones in the overworld are kind of in line with each other so i'm kind of hoping that's the same situation in the nether we shall see uh we'll test this theory out and uh yeah i'll come back once um once we get there well it looks like my theory was correct uh, um <laughs> here is another fortress uh that was that was not that far to go but what i need to do is just turn my render distance down again because i always boost that bad boy um there we go so so hopefully and i kind of have made a boo-boo um hopefully i can uh i can do some trading with these go uh oh Wait, you're all right there dude <laughs> um it's, um give me a minute dudes i'll be right back okay dudes we have a problem uh whoa 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 whoa! don't fly don't fly don't fly so i don't know whether you guys know this or not but the last last few videos i've been doing it I've, I've been having some major audio issues and i tried to swap it all around and stuff and it sounded great at the beginning of the video to me anyway it did and now i've had to switch back to my old setup because for some reason the cable I used for my mic cut out all of my USB ports and everything stopped and, and it's just all gone wrong. <laughs> but on top of that, I went to the nether and as soon as I loaded new chunks, uh, the, the world crashed. Well, not crashed, but hung. It was like just hang in there so um i i am gonna call it an episode here unfortunately i didn't get done what i wanted to do which was make the uh uh make the obsidian but you know uh it's working it's working this this works there's eight thousand buckets in there now so that means that i can add all the stuff to here um but yeah i'm, I'm a little bit disappointed if i'm honest that, that this is all screwed up and now my mic to me sounds terrible <sighs> don't know what to do <laughs> i don't know what to do uh but dudes thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it. if you did enjoy please do stomp on that like button for me um yeah you guys are amazing um i'm gonna try and sort these audio issues out and hopefully we can get back to making just some normal videos without any troubles thank you guys take care and i'll see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>